さあ Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How are you guys doing today? So, today I want to talk about five awesome tips、uh, for web designers. So, if you are a web developer and your sites look like absolute trash, it's perfectly okay. I'm gonna give you just five quick tips that are instantly gonna make it look so much better. Okay, other than that, I have back support. I'm still struggling. But I thought that I'm not gonna make a video until I feel better because sitting so much in the chair it just completely destroys me. But I do want to make a video because it's, it's been so long since I made one.、Uh, but yeah, so hopefully this, this is gonna help. Keeps me super, super. I'm planking all day basically. Other than that, I'm also getting the vaccine next week. So on Sunday, so that's super exciting. I'm probably gonna do a vlog episode on this channel when I get it just to talk about it and my experience and everything. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna pick up the cards and then we're gonna start. Tiparino number one is gonna be to avoid colored backgrounds. It's that simple.、Uh, it's not that necessarily that it's bad, but it's just very, very hard to pull off. So, unless you have experience in design and you know kind of what goes together with what,、um, It's, it's better to just avoid it and go black and white. And most websites and big applications do use black and white just so they can implement a dark mode. And it's again just way easier to handle. So let me show you this example right here, all right? We have this website here where it has this greenish tint or something to it, but it adds absolutely nothing to it. It's kind of bland, it looks very amateurish.、Uh, here's another one that's extremely, extremely saturated with extremely saturated with purples, reds, and blue, and whatever. Right? So, again, it doesn't really add anything. It makes it look a bit cheapish. And if you add buttons or something like that, as you can see, it's, it's very hard to make them pop out just because this color is so, so strong. And again, color grabs your attention a lot. So, just avoid it. Okay? Now, it doesn't. Like you can still add color. Let me just show you this example here, right? It's black and white mostly, but it has splashes of color,、uh, which kind of puts your attention on it. All right, so this pops out extremely a lot. And you also have a bit of shape here,、uh, which just makes it look kind of cool and organic. But it's mostly black and white. And as you can see, we add the color to the things that we want to highlight. So this button pops out here,、uh, this image pops out here. So when you have a colored background, it's very hard to make images pop out as well. All right, so there we go. Look at that. It looks just so much cleaner, so much more professional. And again, adding a Dark mode to this is going to be super simple. Okay, so there's one. I also have another one right here. Again, similar story. Now, here it actually uses a full page that's colorful, but again, it's mostly images and it still kind of transitions back to this normal black and white style. Just like that. All right, so just avoid, <laughs> avoid adding random background colors and stick to black and white. Now, again, This can be pulled off if you're very good. And here's an example. Look at this website. This website is going to use a lot of background colors,、uh, but it has extremely good eye for design.、Uh, the aesthetics are superb. The, the colors are complementing each other very nicely. And it just kind of fits into the style of the website. Okay? There are going to be certain websites that just will not fit, especially if you want to do a professional application. Maybe if you do a showcase of, of a portfolio that can work really nicely here, or you're showing off some kind of、uh, model photo shoot or something, that can work. Okay? Or music, or just something very artistic. But if, for a professional application, You probably are gonna avoid colored backgrounds. Tip number two is gonna be consistency between fonts, text, and spacing and size. I cannot believe how many times I see this, but people do not keep、uh, the amount of space and size of specific fonts consistent. All right, so tip,、uh, a tip in here is gonna be that avoid using tons of fonts, just stick to one. Especially in the beginning, it's gonna do just fine. You don't wanna mix up 10,000 different fonts because, again, a different font is gonna invoke another type of emotion or it's gonna、uh, pop out more than your regular font. So, if you have 10,000 ones mixed up, kind of the same thing as with color, it's just gonna confuse people when you have 10,000 colors. Rather have black and white and just one color、uh, to make something stick out, right? So, just stick to one font. And you're gonna be just fine. When it comes to sizing and when it comes to font size,、uh, just make sure you're consistent. That's all. 
pick out your H1s, H2s, H3s, your paragraphs and everything, and just add a size to them from the beginning. Now, you don't have to use a system or anything, okay? You don't have to be like, oh, I'm only gonna increment by eight. You can get creative with it, it's completely fine. Just make sure you stick to it. Don't have H3s on your page that are 34 pixels and then have H3s on a different page that are 40 pixels, okay? So make sure it's consistent and also make sure the spacing is consistent between them. So if you add a padding to a H3, make sure that the padding is the same across your whole page. It's just gonna make it look that much professional. Okay, here's an example right here where we have some kind of paragraph, okay? So we have this highlighted here in bold and we have some paragraph and then we go to the next page and we have uh, the paragraph is all of a sudden smaller. All right, so things like this is what we want to avoid. Same with uh, this H3 or whatever this is. Uh, my, it's just a bit different in the size and also the spacing here between the texts. All right, so here it is consistent, but if we go to another page, um, see here it's a bit less space than here all right so it just makes it look a bit weird uh, it's just not as nice uh, let's see here as well okay we have this h2 or h3 and if we go down here so as you can see the spacing here is a bit less than here which makes it look again kind of super super strange so what we want to make sure that we are consistent also here right even the line height between the paragraphs we want to make sure they're consistent so the spacing between each line of text all right so that and here all right we want to make sure it's the same so Here's a website like Google, they're gonna do just perfectly here, all right? So everything is kind of spaced out the same way, this H2 and the paragraph. So if we keep going, as you can see, it's completely identical and it just makes it look much, much better. Okay, so plan it out beforehand. Write down all your H1s, H2s, H3s, the size of them, and just keep using them that way rather than just coding something out and adding the, the font size after. Tip number three is superbly important, but I see a lot of people just don't do it, which are images on your website. It's super hard to find the images that are just, just go together superbly well. So I see a lot of people just going on pixels, going on random websites, just copy pasting some images from there and call it a day. And unfortunately, that just will not make it look as good as taking your time and maybe editing those pictures or photoshopping certain aspects of it to make it look good. I know a lot of people are developers. They don't want to learn Photoshop. They don't want to learn image editing and stuff like that. But it does make a huge difference. So here's an example here of a website that just kind of copy pasted some, some cardboard boxes and we have some random logos here. And then again, just a PNG of a box. Okay, it looks it looks okay, but it's it's just not as good as having uh, custom tailored images that are highly photoshopped or edited out to look superbly nice like this one. All right, so these are professionally shot pictures, and again, I know I know it's very hard to find these, uh, but sometimes they just make such a such a huge difference. All right, so there we go. Take a look at that. So all professionally shot, they still have, they have that same kind of consistency and team to it, same background, same colors, same style. As you can see, it just makes it look a hundred times better. Okay, so I know a lot of people cannot afford finding these, but if you're working for a company or something, uh, well, you're probably gonna get these images automatically. But if you find and struggle hard enough on the internet, you can find things that kind of look the same or you can cut out the models from the background or maybe a product that you find and kind of fake the background to make it look similar. Okay, so you can find multiple images that might not necessarily go well together and edit them to make them go together. Let me give you the next tip right now, okay? So this one's gonna be about mobile version. Yeah, a lot of people do mobile version and it works fine. It's just not as nice as the desktop one. So they add a ton of effort into creating these awesome animations and all the good stuff. And when you view the mobile version, it's just a super simple basic website. Now, that's fine, but it's kind of a waste of time adding that much effort into something and then knowing that about 70% of people are gonna view it on, on, your, on their mobile phone, right? So. I guess my, my advice here would be is that you should definitely focus more on adding uh, 
adding more effort into the mobile version rather than the desktop one, even if that's gonna look fine. So here's this one, right? It's, it's cool, I love it. It's super nice, we have animations, we have these images popping up, but when we view the mobile version, it's just some basic text right here, right? So again, the example here with this website, which is super cool, we have super nice animations and everything. Everything, everything, yes. Okay, the website got fucked up. Hold on, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, so it's super awesome animations, transitions, but when we view the mobile version right here, hey, we still have everything kind of the same. So they maintained it, they made it super nice, they added a lot of focus on it, and as you can see, this is how it should be. So if you add that much effort into making this cool like that, make sure it's the same for your mobile version. And last but not least is gonna be copy pasting. Literally just go onto awards.com, which are pre-built websites by other people that look just phenomenal. Just take a screenshot there and try to recreate it. Then go to awards.com and go to the web design section Open that up, find the design that you think is awesome, open up Figma and try to recreate the design. Eventually, it's gonna go in your muscle memory and yeah, a lot of people say, uh, some people don't have good eye for design. Well, that's bullshit, okay? You can learn that, it's super easy. You just have to practice it and do it a lot. And just copying good designs, you're automatically gonna develop a system in your mind and you're gonna see what colors go together and what looks nice and what doesn't look nice. All right, so don't be afraid to do that. Please do that. If uh, I don't have my, my, my early designs, unfortunately, because I deleted them, but personally, I'm gonna tell you they looked horrendous and probably worse than anything that you can imagine, okay? So it can be learned, don't stress about it. All right, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And check out my courses down below if you're interested in learning more about programming. I have courses on JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React, all the good stuff. Check out the link down below. Support the channel, boys uh, and girls. And yeah, let me do a final magic trick before I go. I'm gonna make an elephant appear. Here are the ears and now the trumpet. <laughs>